How's it going guys? Welcome back to Quintin's in the Gun Guy. It's review time again. This is a full up video for the Strauss & Co. leather belt organizer that I did. I've got the matching set, the belt organizer with the Horizon wallet. Um, check out the link, should be popping up on the top of the screen. This as you've seen, I can carry it in the front pocket as well as the rear pocket. This is a minimalist style of wallet. And there's something about a minimalist style that really screams confidence. Let's chat about that first. So, you start off your wallet mission, usually this is usually the guys, but it can pertain to ladies as well. Usually, usually you start off with a Velcro wallet. It goes as soon as you open it. Yeah, that you need to leave in primary school. If you are a grown man still using that, please stop. Just don't. Just, just stop. <laughs> Usually you go from the Velcro wallet to the big boy wallet like this one. This is the big ones. It folds open. And this is what I used to carry before getting this minimal, minimalist wallet. Sorry. This is the Horizon from Strauss & Co. Leather. So out with the old, in with the new. Carrying a minimalist wallet says that I'm confident in what I think I'm going to need. That's the same as your everyday carry. You... Prepare for a certain situation. The same with your wallet as well. You can't carry all of your licenses for either firearms or for um, whatever you do. Um, you can't carry all those cards, all the loyalty cards. Please don't. All your bank cards. You're never going to use all of them on a daily basis. So maybe still keep it in a separate card holder or separate wallet, wherever. And this is going to be your companion you can keep this in your wallet permanently which i've done for the last five months in my pocket so you can see that it's taken a beating i'll show you guys now with the close-ups at the close-up table um, <laughs> yeah um so yeah this is it minimalist wallet is the new in thing so again if you have a velcro wallet please consider upgrading how cool does that look let's go for the close-ups right now this is the matching set that i told you guys about now you should have seen my belt organizer video already if you haven't yet please check it out first there's a lot of details about strauss and co that are described on this video yeah so matching sets as you can see that this goes along very nicely there's a slightly darker darker coloring on the wallet just because of pure handling um i handle this a whole lot more than I actually handled this this is just basically a holder or keeper of my gear. So I just, if I use this, I just take it out and I rarely ever handle this, especially just in the mornings, putting it on and the evenings taking it off my belt. Um, yeah, so anyway, using this a, a whole lot more, as you can see that this is a super, super solid product as you would expect from Strauss & Co Leather. Enough space for six cords. Let's move this away. Enough space for six cards, so two, two, and two. What I did is I've got my driver's license and a card that I use more behind it. And then I've got my backup bank card and then my firearm license here. I don't carry more, more cards than that. There's no need for it. Quite a surprise that I got when I ordered this wallet from Strauss & Co. Um, thanks a lot for you on Strauss sending this to me. Is that I actually didn't know that there's a, a pocket there for, for cash. Um, as you can see there's a wide variety of cash that I've got in here. Um, just because you, yeah it, it probably looks a whole lot better just carrying 200. Sometimes you need 100, sometimes you need 20 or 10 rand for parking. Um, so yeah it just makes life a lot easier carrying a variety of change with you. There's probably just too much change in here. Um, yeah, it just does look a bit messy, but it is super functional. Yeah, so that's the that's the close-ups. I'm not going to take my cards out. It's not that I don't trust you guys. I don't trust the internet. Let's have a chat about the product. This is what it looks like without all the cards and all the cash stretching it out. Um, you can see there's a slight difference in coloring between where I handle it the most and actually where my cards are covering up most of the time. That's a great thing about leather is that it's, it's it used to be alive, but it's still alive. It's still ever changing. And then this Bronco leather as well, the very different, different kind of vibe to it. Um, ever changing as well. And this looks absolutely awesome with the blue stitching. Now you get this in uh, Buffalo, uh, Buffalo leather, which is black. And then you get the Bronco leather. 
um, which is this one, and then Bronco Rough Out, which is basically this one turned inside out with a rough side on the outside, smooth side on the inside where your cards go. Stitching on this, you get the black, you get the, uh, the brown, you get the blue, the turquoise, uh, forest green, which is a light green, dark green, um, yeah, I think that's all. Oh yeah, and you get red as well, ruby red, which looks insane as well with the Bronco leather. Absolutely awesome product. It goes for 430 Rand on Strauss & Co's website. Sent to me by Juan Strauss. Thank you so much, dude. Um, yeah, sending this to me just to check out and review. This is a bespoke item. There's a lot of options that you can use or choose from with this product, which means that there's an instant personal connection. It's not like buying a wallet from the shelf and that's you get what you get. This isn't like that. So saying that, that there's always going to be a lead time because of that, it needs to be especially handmade by Yuan, which takes time. It takes time and expertise. This is called saddle stitching. He does it by hand and it's a mission to do. It takes a long time. So you can imagine that something that takes so much care and attention that it's going to be a while, but it's definitely worth it. Lead time is usually around two weeks, depending on how busy he is. This is how long my set took to get to me. Absolutely love it. Brilliant styling, brilliant product. And it's probably going to last longer than anything else or most things in my everyday carry. Um, burnished edges means that it's nice and neat looking. Still have that classy vibe. That's what I like about Strauss & Co's products is you get that old school charm, quality, and expertise in the workmanship that you get. But there's still a, a big thing about class. Yeah, I think that's, that's an added bonus. It, it just looks classy. It doesn't look like someone made it in their garage type of vibe or next to the, next to the street. This looks like well, you can see that it has been professionally made by Johan Strauss. Absolute wizard with leather. Love your work, dude. Um, but yeah, hit me up in the comment section if you like minimalist style of wallets. I absolutely love it. Brilliant product and then brilliant way of carrying your everyday carry. There's so much stuff that I carry. I carry a firearm with an extra mag, the South Base holster. Um, then I do two knives, I carry a flashlight, I carry a pen, which this makes life a lot easier as well. But then also this. So carrying all that stuff means that you need to carry some on your body. Having a minimalist style wallet like this makes my life a whole lot easier not having to lug around a big wallet as well. Because what usually happens to big wallets is that I throw it in the car in the center console and I just take it out whenever I need it, but it usually just stays there and I grab a card. And it does happen that you lose cards that way. So yeah, rather use this. And for 430 Rand, there's so much time that goes in it. I can't imagine how Yuan is still making money out of this. But check out his website, link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys later again for another review. This is all my long-term reviews that I've been hitting out. I really want to do something different with my reviews. Not just do an initial impressions. Because there's too many guys on YouTube doing that. Opening up a box and going, oh, this is a great product. You don't know that product yet. I think or I know that I know these products properly. If something would have gone wrong or would have gone wrong, it would have gone wrong already. It hasn't. Still love these products, still going strong, and <laughs> it's actually not showing anywhere just yet. Just a bit of scratching because I have thrown this around a bit, trying to get cool pictures. You know that? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's speak about that later. See you guys later. Like, share, subscribe, all those cool things. See you guys later. Cheers.